Hello friends, today I'm going to share my morning routine, but it is actually eight o'clock at night. And if I want to have a good morning, then it starts right now at eight o'clock at night. It is time to put the boys to bed in just a few minutes. And that means I get myself ready for bed first. They never seem to want to go to bed. I love going to bed. I love reading in bed. I love <laughs> laying down after a long, busy day. So instead of fighting them, I give them a few extra minutes and I get myself ready for bed. Tomorrow is also a hair washing day, so I'm going to do an oil treatment for my hair. I only wash my hair like two to three times a week, and so I like to do a little bit of hair oil, trying to help my top grow in if it can. The boys are wanting a snack before bed. They didn't have any dessert tonight. And then I remembered we got this box from Gretchen and she says that she grew up in Oregon. So she wanted to give us some treats from Oregon. So thank you so much, Gretchen. And that she has a cat named King who always looks at the TV when Luna talks. So that is so fun. Let's just see what's in it before I let the boys have a little snack. Some saltwater taffy. They're gonna love those. Some Bigfoot poop, which is chocolate covered peanuts. So funny. All right, and then we have some James Gang salmon and trout rub. That sounds great. Brown sugar, salt, garlic. Yeah, those things are always good on salmon. We have some Moose Munch premium popcorn. And let's see, this one's in bubble wrap. And some Bigfoot Toe Jam, Oregon Marionberry Seedless Jam. Yum. Somebody else sent us Marionberry Jam. We don't have Marionberries in Alaska, and we really enjoyed it. So thank you so much for sending this package. We'll go let the boys try some. Thank you! Once the boys are in bed, the next step for me is to make sure that my gym clothes are ready for the next day. I actually put them in my office so that I don't disturb Mark when I get up in the morning and go to the gym. Let me explain how my morning routine came about before you see it happen. I was struggling at the beginning of this school year trying to figure out how to fit everything into our morning routine that I really wanted, um, including exercise and spending quality time with the family in the mornings before everyone goes their separate ways. I also felt like the time when the kids are at school goes by so quickly that I needed to make sure I was using that time wisely. I tried to reverse engineer it and look at what my ideal morning would look like and then I moved backwards to see when I would need to start my morning. Once I get into bed, I try really hard not to be on my phone. It doesn't always happen but I fall asleep much faster and sleep much better if I do not spend time scrolling on my phone. Just gotta make sure the alarm is set for the right time. Phone goes on the charger. I prefer to read a paper book when I am laying down in bed. It just helps me fall asleep quicker. Just so you know, this is kind of my ideal day. This does not happen all the time, but as I'm going through our morning routine, I will give you ideas of some of the things that we try and do every single time and what other things are more flexible and sometimes don't happen. But it's hard to give you a realistic morning view when some things change. So this is what I like to try and do and um, it doesn't always happen. 
the way that I envision it or want it to. And that's just life, especially when you have six people that you're trying to accommodate into your schedule and your routine. So it's nine o'clock. The boys are in bed. I like to try and be asleep by no later than 10 o'clock. So that when 4.45 rolls around, I don't feel like a complete zombie. Now I did used to do a lot of editing at night and stay up way too late, but when I came up with this schedule that I wanted to try and follow on most days, I realized that was no longer a thing. I would be more productive during the day if I just go to bed. So unless there is some sort of important deadline, I just don't edit after the kids go to bed anymore. This is time to relax, unwind, spend some time with Mark and go to bed. Oops, Luna is locked in the office. She's usually part of this nighttime routine. I was wondering where she was. <laughs> There's our sweet girl. Hi, sweetheart. You ready to cuddle up and go to bed? Mm -hmm. I was wondering why you weren't here cuddling with me. Alexa, turn off Lauren's lamp. Okay. Good morning, friends. I try and slip out without waking anybody up. And we're off to get some exercise.
like I mentioned before, this is my ideal schedule. If this morning workout doesn't happen because I don't go to bed the night before, I always know the night before if I'm gonna go work out or not. I set my alarm accordingly. If not, I would be getting up about now, 6.20, 6.30, and starting my morning putting on my workout clothes, and then I would go to the gym maybe when I drop the kids off, or after I come home and work for a couple hours, I would go to the gym to get my workout in after I worked for a couple hours. So there are other options. This is just my ideal because then I have the whole day, I'm showered, I'm ready, I've got good water in in the morning, and then I am ready to work all day when the boys go to school. I can film, I can edit, I can do whatever I need to instead of being like, oh man, I need to go to the gym. Some days it works, other days it doesn't, but thankfully I have a couple options. It is currently 6.40. Mark is going down to check to make sure Hunter is awake. I am not gonna finish getting ready right now. We gotta move on to breakfast and then I'll come back later and do my hair and makeup and all that stuff. I'm just right now gonna finish my skincare routine, you know, after the shower. Time for breakfast. Breakfast around here looks different every morning. Sometimes the kids have cereal, other times we have eggs, or breakfast sandwiches, or breakfast burritos, or we make pancakes. But this morning we are doing toast and eggs. Often I will make just one big thing of eggs, but this morning it didn't work out that way and I ended up making several different batches of eggs and it, that's just how it worked out on this day. So the next batch I'm making some scrambled eggs and toast for Mark and Weston. As the kids are eating breakfast, we will pull out the scriptures. Sometimes I read, sometimes Mark reads, or one of the kids, if they're done eating, will read. And we discuss what we read as we are also working on getting the boys' lunches prepared for the day. Kind of a lot of moving pieces, but we always make sure we stop and say a family prayer before sending off Mark and Hunter. The kids' lunches also look different every day, but I have really loved these Tupperware. It allows me to just add a lot of different snacks without having to use a bunch of baggies. Today, I am making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Sometimes they have ham and cheese. Sometimes they get something put in a thermos, like some leftovers. It just really depends on what we have on hand. Good morning, Miss Luna. Ooh, you want a treat, Luna? Pretty, pretty twice. Throw her wanting to get a treat. Ready? Watch. She knows the sound. Bennett's going to give Luna a treat, and she knows they're in the drawer over here. Snuggle bug just woke up. We're gonna make him breakfast and me breakfast now. All the eggs from earlier in the morning had gotten eaten and Everett requested that I make him some French toast. And since it's not that much harder than making scrambled eggs, I decided to use up the last of our bread and make him some French toast. I really need to go Costco shopping or make some bread, one of the two, because these are the very last little pieces of our loaf of bread. 
each of our boys gets a weekly chore and this week Weston has the chore of unloading the dishwasher. It just makes me giggle like how long it takes him to do this. Sometimes it's a little frustrating but he does get the job done and I'm grateful that I don't have to do it. Everett got his breakfast and then it was finally time for me to make my own breakfast. Some mornings I have time to do it while the boys are having their breakfast, um, but this morning it just didn't happen, so I'm gonna have my breakfast now along with Everett. It is currently 7.50. Everybody's had breakfast. I'm gonna do a few things to get sorted in my bedroom. Yes, Miss Luna. Hi. And then we'll continue with our morning routine with the boys. Their goal is to always get everything done by eight o'clock. Their morning chores, getting dressed, teeth brushed, breakfast, any homework that they need to finish, and then they can watch 25 minutes of TV if all of those things are done. Some mornings it doesn't happen, other mornings they get a few minutes and I can finish getting ready. Just depends on what we gotta get done. Tell me down in the comments, do you make your bed every day? I honestly can't get in my bed if it hasn't been made and if I forget to do it during the day, I will make the bed completely before I get in it at night. So it is just, it just helps me feel like a good start to my day and Every time I walk by it, I don't want to like clean it or jump back in it. So making the bed is part of my morning routine almost every morning. And of course, you, Inspector Luna has to come and make sure it's done to her liking since she spends most of the day sleeping here. Then I move on to doing my makeup. I'm putting on some sunscreen and then using my Saint makeup palette. I love this makeup. It's a cream-based makeup. It makes doing your makeup really, really easy and will help me feel ready for the day. There are some mornings where I don't wash my hair and then my morning routine goes a little bit quicker. And I promise there are mornings where I am able to get through this whole routine uninterrupted. I will be dressed, makeup, and hair done before I even start doing the boys breakfast. But this was just not one of those days and probably because I was filming. Filming just adds time to everything and my kids don't stop needing me when I'm filming and so I just I'm just rolling with it we're putting stuff in my hair Everett needed my help and so I'm stopping to help him the other boys all are able to get themselves ready in the morning Everett is able to get himself dressed I help him brush his teeth but he still just likes company when doing these things <laughs> okay. he likes to be with mama in the mornings huh or daddy, but dad's not here when you get ready. Okay, Everett wants to do a fun get dressed transition. Ready? One, two, three, jump. Guys, <laughs> look. I just had, I jumped into my clothes and then we're on. Woohoo! Let's go brush your teeth. Uh So in kindergarten, they read phonics books and we're supposed to read every day and practice phonogram cards. There's 70 of them. Um, Everett is doing awesome at learning them, but we find that in the evenings, it is a bit too crazy to get everything done. So before he heads to school, if we have time, we choose a book. 
Or we, phonograms. We read the book or we do the phonograms. So or this morning we're gonna read about Tim the turtle. Each morning looks a little bit different on which kid needs help getting their homework done. And we're also working on Everett wearing his glasses while he's reading and doing his work. Other mornings, it might be Weston needing my help with something like spelling. And I'm always ready to help whoever needs to get something done before we head off to school. And of course, Miss Luna is also always ready to help with whatever she can and whatever needs inspecting, including Weston's homework. You can have two minutes of TV. <sighs> I always feel really good until I read with Everett and then reading at a kindergarten pace and monotone makes me so sleepy. <sighs> Only had a minute. My alarm is going off. It is 8.30. That means it's time to get the boys in their snow gear and out the door. In our school district, the boys go out to recess until negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit, so they need full snow gear to go to school. The older boys tend to just bring most of it in their backpacks, their snow pants and gloves, but Everett needs all of it on to go to school. Oh, it's 8.55, the kids are at school. I do drive the younger three boys to school because we've had a lot of issues with buses this year. Uh, at first they didn't have a bus and then when they finally got the buses worked out they changed all the routes and the bus is supposed to come at 840. It doesn't come until 850, 855. School starts at 850. If it doesn't even come till 850 my kids would be late to school every single day riding the bus. Add on top of that they would be waiting in the dark and what if one day it actually came on time? What if it came at 8.40 and we were waiting for it at 8.50 and then... So, to avoid having to deal with the bus being late, I just drive them in the mornings, but they do ride the bus home on the days that they don't have after school activities. So that is nice. I'm grateful to have it in the afternoons. All right, from nine to 10, I like to get some housekeeping things done. Uh, read my scriptures, journal, and then do a little bit of cleaning. So let's get going on the rest of our morning routine. Today, when I drove the boys to school, it was so light outside. February 1st is really the day that I feel like we finally are starting to see the daylight coming back. I heard on the radio last night that we have finally hit sunset after five o'clock. It makes a big difference. It took, you know, it's been about a month since winter solstice when we start gaining a couple minutes of daylight a day. But today, I feel it in the morning. Yesterday, I felt it in the evening. Like, let's take a look outside. Before, it was pitch black still at 9 a.m. Sunrise wasn't until around 11, but it's pretty light out. And it's 9 o'clock. When people ask us, uh, how do we get used to the darkness? This is one thing I think they forget is that it comes on gradually. The darkness comes on gradually and then the light comes on gradually. So you kind of have a little bit of time to get used to it. It can still be a bit depressing, I'm not gonna lie, when it's so dark, but I'm a homebody. I don't mind being more home in the winter and doing indoor projects, but that's for another video. Let's finish up this morning routine. Hello, Luna. Yes? You heard me talking to myself. You heard me talking to my friends on YouTube. Okay, we're gonna tackle this mess. Weston finished unloading the dishwasher so we can put the, all the extra dishes away in it. We're gonna get this cleaned up. Oh, after filling out the form, he didn't take it. I always like to set a 15 minute timer for myself. I feel like it just helps me stay on task. So we're gonna see what we can accomplish in 15 minutes getting this kitchen cleaned up.
All right, we got three minutes left. I have time to clean all the counters. Timer just went off, but you know what? I'm so close, I'm gonna give it another five minutes. It's gonna be a 20 minute clean and we're gonna finish the kitchen. Okay, kitchen is much better. Just kick this in. Ooh. Now time to finish getting myself ready. All right, on to the next task. Miss Luna is having fun with this poster board. Everything's a toy to a kitty. It is currently 9.45. I try and start work around 10 o'clock. You know, that changes depending on if I didn't do my workout in the morning and all those things. But the last thing I try and do before I officially start work is to read some scriptures. Um, I do that on my phone because all of my scriptures are on my phone. I try and do some journaling on some days and then I will do some calendaring, looking through my schedule, making sure that I'm getting the things done that I need to. So that's what is, Gonna happen for the next 15, 20, 30 minutes, depending on what I need to get done. And then we will discuss this whole morning routine and wrap it up. Life is messy and I am not perfect at sticking to any sort of routine, but I do find that when I ground myself in things that bring me closer to God, bring me closer to my family, and help me take care of myself, then I feel much better about life. And it miraculously gives me more time and energy to do the things that I want to do, to do fun things, and to run this YouTube channel. All right, friends, it is 10.01. Let's do a quick debrief on this morning routine. Um, pretty much the only things that stay really consistent are breakfast with the kids, doing our scripture and prayer, sending Hunter off, getting the kids ready. The other things are a bit more flexible, like when I have my breakfast, sometimes happens with everybody, sometimes doesn't happen until they all get out the door, depending on what needs to get done in the morning. My workouts happen early or once the kids go to school. Um, showers, depends on when I work out. I do try and shower every day um, and get myself somewhat ready. It doesn't always happen, but I do feel more productive when I get ready. Um, the level of which I get ready depends on the activity for the day. If I'm filming, then I'll probably want to put on makeup and curl my hair. If I'm editing, I'm more likely to just put on some sweats and throw my hair up in a bun and edit. So things do not go exactly as I showed you today. Some days I get showered and completely ready before the kids go to school. So Yes, this is our morning routine. That is pretty typical of what happens. <laughs> you know, moms wear a lot of hats, getting laundry going, helping kids do their chores, helping them finish up homework, feeding everybody, making sure their lunches are packed. Whew, when I first thought about filming this video, when I got the suggestion from both YouTube and Instagram and our email list, um, 
this is a thing that always comes up. Show your morning routine. And I thought, I don't really have much to show of a morning routine. Um, but then when you go to film it, you realize you do have a morning routine and it's very busy. By 10 o'clock, I have accomplished a lot of things, I realize. So thank you so much for spending time with me this morning. I hope that it motivates you to find the schedule that works for you. It really took me sitting down and writing down my ideal schedule and calculating the time back. Like, okay, if I wanna do all of that, then I need to get up at this time. Uh, the things that were not happening that I wanted to make sure in were included was I wasn't getting to the gym as often as I wanted to. So giving myself the option of getting up at 445 if I go to bed early enough is a great option for me. Secondly, we were saving scripture study till nighttime and nighttime gets really crazy trying to get the kids to bed. So now we read some scriptures in the morning and we also do a one minute scripture study before bed. We have a book that we use. So now we're getting a little bit in the morning and the evening for different kids because not everybody is up every single morning, but we are just trying to be consistent. Um, and that was not happening. So now it is happening with whatever kids are up at 6 45 and that varies from day to day so those were the main things that i was trying to make sure fit in i used to go to the gym from six to seven in the morning and i thought that was early but then i realized i was rushing in the door as mark was leaving we would like give each other a kiss and they would go out but that meant i didn't spend any time with mark in the morning i didn't see hunter it was very stressful so I reverse engineered it and figured out, hey, 4.45, it does mean that I have to go to bed earlier or I will just be a zombie and I don't like feeling like a zombie. But if I do get myself into bed around nine o'clock, asleep by 10, then I am okay. I very, very, very rarely take a nap and I just feel nice and tired the next night to go to sleep for the next day. So that is always good. Another thing is I try to never get on my phone before the kids go to school. If you're anything like me, I lose track of time if I get on my phone. So that is one of my goals for my morning routine is that the phone stays away until the boys are at school. And even then I like to finish up my morning routine of scriptures, journaling, you know, doing some planning for the day before I get on my phone. And that seems to be very, very helpful. Other things that might change this routine are if I have an appointment that I have to go to or, you know, an errand that I have to run on a certain day, it might change the morning routine up a little bit. I might need to make sure I'm getting ready while the kids are still home so that I can go straight to my appointment, things like that. But that doesn't happen too often. I usually try and put my appointments after 10 o'clock so that I can still do my morning routine because it just helps the rest of the day go smoother. Now I can work. I can go have lunch with friends if I need to. I can go run my errands. And some of the most important things of the day are already done. <sighs> but it is a lot. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. We love you and we'll see you again real soon for more of This Alaska Life. Do you want to say goodbye, Luna? Luna has been watching me talk to the camera. She's hanging out next to the heater under my desk. <laughs> All right. A whole video filmed by 10:15 in the morning. That never happens. <laughs>